Hi, I'm Eric Haney from Haney Reels here with Rob Mochman, and we are going to demonstrate how to change the packing seal in an inch and a half or two inch WHJ series swivel joint, which is a very commonly used swivel joint on many of our larger reels. So Rob, this is pretty simple, I imagine. What are you gonna do? Eric, very easy. There are four bolts that hold the swivel joint together. I'm gonna take, or I'm gonna remove three of the four bolts. I'm gonna loosen up the fourth. We're gonna leave him in place so we can actually swing the inlet fitting out to the side. Okay. I'm gonna reach in. And the reason you're leaving the fourth bolt in place, by the way, it's not really shown here, but you could actually replace this packing while the swivel joint is still on the reel, correct? That is correct. Okay. It makes it a very, very quick change. Basically, I swung the inlet fitting out of the way. Okay. I can reach in, I can pull out the old seal. All right, I'm gonna hand you the new seal, Rob. I'm gonna inspect the inside of this just to make sure that there is no damage or corrosion. I'm gonna inspect the outside, the, the flange, quick, just to make sure there's nothing there. It is clean. Okay. And at this point, we're going to take and put a little dab of grease on the external portion of the seal. This is to lubricate the, the seal when we put it in place. If you put a dry seal in, you will wind up actually tearing the seal up again. So with a little dab of grease all the way around. Does it matter seal. which way you put it on? This seal is not. This is a lip seal. Basically, okay. it seals from both sides. We're going to insert it back into the retainer. We're going to bring back the mal going to bring back the inlet fitting on the seal. Compress it. Now we can put the three bolts back together. Back okay. In place. These are grade five bolts and. Uh, while you're putting those in place, I'll just uh, ask, is there a particular torque value you should be shooting for? I know not everyone has a torque wrench, but... Uh, for this style bolt, it's a 5 16th, basically no more than 20 foot-pounds of torque About 20 foot-pounds, okay. Okay, tighten those down. Looks to Eric, me like you're almost done. Eric, that swivel joint has been repaired and is ready to go back in service. Great. Thank you, Rob. You're welcome.